The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to the Pharisees, I am going away, and you will seek me, and you will die in your sin. Where I am going, you cannot come. So the Jews said, Will he kill himself? Since he says, Where I am going, you cannot come. He said to them, You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins. For unless you believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. So they said to him, Who are you? Jesus said to them, Just what I have been telling you from the beginning. I have much to say about you and much to judge. But he who sent me is true. And I declare to the world what I have heard from him. They did not understand that he had been speaking to them about the Father. For Jesus said to them, When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you will know that I am he, and that I do nothing on my own authority, but speak just as the Father taught me. And he who sent me is with me. He has not left me alone. But I always do the things that are pleasing to you. And he was seeing, saying these things. Many believed in him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, it's uh, almost exactly a year that the lockdown was imposed in India. And as a result of this lockdown, there were several restrictions that were imposed on people all over the country. We couldn't move so easily. It's been a year now and yet we see that the signs of this lockdown being eased seem to be far away. While Europe is already in the third wave, India is now gradually entering into the second wave of the pandemic. And so people are becoming more and more impatient. They want to go back to the pre-pandemic times. People have started complaining. They want to move out. They want to move out, meet their friends. They want their life to be as usual before the pandemic was. And so we see some people even going to an extent saying that yes, this is all rubbish. They are just harassing us. So we see different reactions to this pandemic because of this lockdown and the growing impatience of the people. And this is exactly what we see in the first reading taken from the book of Numbers. The Israelites, the Jews were getting impatient because they were wandering now in the desert, in the wilderness. Yahweh had released them from the bondage and slavery of the Pharaoh. But unfortunately, people now, over the number of years that they have been moving and moving and traveling and journeying, mostly through the wilderness, they are now becoming impatient. And they have started grumbling and murmuring and complaining against God. They have forgotten that God did such a wonderful act of redeeming them, saving them. But now they had grown impatient. And so we see and we have heard that God is really angry with the people and he sends in midst of them fiery serpents, poisonous snakes and people have started dying. And it is there that the people now are approaching Moses and pleading before Moses that save us. Moses was always an advocate, intercessor for the people, once again approaches Yahweh and asks for mercy. God, Yahweh, who has always been a generous father, a merciful father, a loving father, once again relents and forgives the sins of the people and tells Moses that he must prepare a bronze serpent and it must be set up on the pole and every time people who are bitten by the snakes can see at this bronze serpent and they will get new life. And that is what happened. 
all those who were bitten by the snakes every time they looked at the bronze serpent they were healed they received new life in the gospel today jesus once again speaks about being lifted up what is this lifting up this is exactly the the hour and the moment of the glory the lifting up on the cross this moment of glory is basically the passion death and his resurrection that he will be lifted up he will have to be crucified on the cross he will have to end your pain and suffering and it is only through his passion death and resurrection he will give new life to the people what happened to the people in israel they received new life through the bronze serpent but here in the gospel john is telling us that we will receive new life through the lifting up of jesus to the passion death and resurrection of jesus my dear people and my dear friends today jesus is inviting us that we need to have trust and faith in god's divine providence we need not get impatient because god has beautiful wonderful plans for us what he expects us that we always follow in his footsteps the more we trust god the more we receive god's blessings but the more we complain and we murmur and the more we become impatient the more we receive things that do not please us on the contrary we only receive suffering and pain this at this eucharist let us ask god for the grace that we may truly become people who are patient people who have faith that no matter how big pain and suffering that we endure in our lives we will always continue to have faith and trust in him let us pause for a moment of silence